Hi, I'm Cindy Balin with some online design tips. Wall art can make any room look better, but when you go to hang a picture on the wall, where do you put it? Well, most people agree that you should put art in a room at about eye level. Now the question is, who's eye level? If you have a number of different people who are sitting in a room, then you could pretty much find a space where everybody can see it. What you don't want is art way up over people's heads. And you put it probably close to your own eye level. That will work. Now the other thing is, where will your other people who use the room be standing or sitting? I have seen something so creative, I'd like to share it with you. How about if you have a chair rail in a room hanging some art below it? Art and the wainscoting can be so original in a dining room and of course you know that your guests will always be seated so they'll be able to enjoy it at that level. Art looks great in groupings and again it doesn't have to match. Even the frames don't have to match, but you do want to get a good idea of where things should be. I've seen a home with a grouping of four pictures hanging one next to the other and one on top of the other, and that grouping of pictures looks just like a window. But how do you know where things are going to go? How do you know without banging some holes in the wall where you should put them? One easy way to do it is to trace the pictures on newspaper, cut out the cutouts, and hang them on the wall. That way you can experiment before you come out with the hammer. Art can go in unexpected places. In this home, the homeowners have hung a painting at the top of the steps so that when they walk into the house, it's the first thing they see. Art should always relate to the size of the wall, so these two small Asian prints fit perfectly on this narrow wall. And notice that you get a little bit of movement here when you hang them a little bit off skew. Art should always relate to the piece of furniture over which it hangs. The other thing you should think about is what else will go near the art? Can you pull some colors from it? Can you pull things that are similar in design? How about height? Here this lamp creates a nice vertical that goes along with the vertical of the picture. You can do almost anything with art in your home. You can frame things that your children have created or you can hang things on the wall which have nothing to do with art at all. The only thing you should think of is what you'd like to see. I'm Cindy Balin, and these are some online design tips. For more, visit my website at www.orangesandlemonscolors.com.